As uh, as you've probably uh, been able to tell, gas prices are falling. The uh, price of oil falling as well. We've we've uh, had a lot of people who have emailed in and, and have called in and talked about what this uh, could mean. You've seen a lot of stories starting to pop up uh, really this week, end of last week, about uh, what uh, the falling oil prices uh, you know could mean to uh, the Permian Basin, what it could mean uh, to uh, really the United States and oil production. And joining us right now to uh, talk a little bit about that and also just about uh, the, the city planning in Midland, is the uh, mayor of Midland, Texas, uh, Jerry Morales. And, uh, Mayor, welcome to the Chad Hasty Show on KFYO. Uh, good morning. Welcome to – glad to be on the show. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate it. And and one of the reasons I wanted to have you on is is because you and, and the city council in Midland, y'all are really uh, right there trying to analyze all of this, and, and, and y'all have got the difficult job of trying to plan uh, the, the, the future of Midland <laughs> with, with – uh, oil prices uh, that are out there. How do you how do you balance uh, all of that work and 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 you know trying to plan for the future while looking at what oil prices are doing right now? Well, you know you're exactly right. It's been a balancing act all year, but more so in, on the good side. Uh, and and really, this goes back you know probably three four years now, where when the oil started to to bounce back and. The economy started to really uh, get very progressive. Uh, we saw an influx of, of our population increase. You know, we went from 100,000, about 110,000 in 2010 to about 140,000 today. So as you can imagine, uh, with that increase, you saw a, a lot of cars on the road. We needed a lot of homes. Schools were uh, maxed out uh, and so on and so on. So, you know, it's been a good story to see the economy strong and rebounding from back in you know, the, the 90s, the, the balancing act is trying to uh, deal with the growth so rapidly. And although the sales tax receipts are great, property tax receipts are great, and, and hotel, motel tax receipts are great, um, you still can't get uh, the infrastructure built fast enough to, to keep up with the demand. So fast forward with this uh, slowdown in the oil and the decrease in the pricing, it, it's not took so much of a bad uh, problem in, in Midland today as we really need to catch up again on roads, housing, and so on. So we're, we're do, definitely balancing it. Have you been in touch, or have they been in touch with you? Some of the the, the oil companies out there, and uh, you know, are, are are there any jitters uh, about uh, what could happen in the future? Yeah, no. The, the major oil companies that are here in, in Milan, Odessa, I guess about sixty days ago, they said, "Mayor, you know, you need to be prepared. You're probably going to start seeing a slowdown." Um, we're anticipating that the, the level probably might drop, the price might drop to about $70, and you probably will see that maybe through through March is what I was told six days ago. So uh, they saw it coming. They, the forecast was correct. It, it's probably even dropped more than they imagined. Yeah, I was about to say, I mean, it, you know, you we're looking at prices, uh, $63 a barrel right now, and, and that is, I mean, some analysts say it could hit $40 a barrel, which I'm sure that's, you know that that is way below that price range of what of what I've seen at least of what some of these oil companies can really take. Well, you know the majors are in good standing, and if you're not aware, here in Midland, most of the the majors are building their home base. They're building four to six story um, offices, and so that's kind of a good sign that they're aware of of what's happening. And they pay a lot of them have paid their debt. They have no debt. Um, they'll maybe stack a few rigs, but I think. Uh, that just really is what I'm hearing is they're just going to cut back on their budget. Now, those that will hurt are the new service companies, the companies that have just started this past year who probably have some debt, and uh, we'll, we'll probably see a shutdown of some of those kind of companies. But I think for the major part, we're going to be in, our, in, a, in probably pretty decent shape. Do you, do you agree with some of the analysis that, that, that has been out there that you know, we're not going to see this complete collapse, this huge bust uh, that, that we saw last time? I, I wholeheartedly agree. I think, again, as you talk to these oil companies, um, it's the end of the year. They're cutting back on their budget. There's a, uh, or they've already exceeded their budget. Going into the first of the year, they're waiting to see uh, how this new legislative uh, staffing is going to take place and what are, the, you know, what are they going to be coming out with, what's going to be the discussion on the political wins. Uh, so I think everybody's just kind of holding off, waiting to see what's going to take place first of the year. New budgets will come out. Um, I, I, again, I think we'll see some drilling in city council. We've been approving drilling inside the city limits. 
So those applications are still coming before us. Uh, so I think it's going to be okay. Again, what I will stress is it's not even though I, we want drilling and it's the backbone of our industry and our community, uh, we don't mind the slowdown so that we can catch up a little bit. How much do you? How much does Midland have to catch up? Well, today we're about seventy-two square miles, and we have a comprehensive plan that's out there. And we're saying here in about twenty twenty-eight that we'll be hitting two hundred thousand people. So that means we'll get to one hundred twenty-five square miles. So in fourteen years, it means that we need to get roads, housing, annexation, more schools, more high schools. Uh, and so on. And so that kind of gives you an idea of the kind of growth that's taking place here in Midland. Yeah, it's huge. I, I know you are going through a lot of growth pains that are, uh, that are out there. Yeah, maybe the, uh, the, you brought up, uh, maybe a slowdown will be welcome just so you can try to get, uh, uh caught up a little bit, uh, out in Midland with the, with all the improvements that need to be made with all the infrastructure that has to go in. Uh, d- does that mean as far as taxes go and as far as, uh, you know, raising taxes. How does that work, or do you have enough money coming in where Midland, you know, the citizens of Midland, maybe don't have to worry too much about a, a huge spike in taxes? Or is that something that is still being debated? Again, this is our budget this past year. Uh, we had the lowest tax that we've ever had in Midland this past budget year. Um, we have sales tax receipts that have been in double digits uh, for the last four years. Uh, Ad valorem taxes continue to, to increase due to the valuations going up. Um, we have several uh, economic tools that are in place. We have the 4A sales tax and the 4B sales tax, which can help us with some of our growth. So, again, it's going to be a very big discussion coming up in the 2015 budget is, is how, you know, how much do we want to apply towards the roads and infrastructure? Uh, how much can we help with housing? Uh, water, we're in pretty good shape here in Midland. We've got a supply of about 60 years, so we're in pretty decent shape on our water. Uh, so again, you're right. We'll, we'll be having heavy discussions about, you know, what do the citizens want to do? How fast, how many roads do they want to have built and how fast? Sounds good. Uh, Mayor, I appreciate your time today. Uh, it doesn't sound like, uh, that many people are, uh, too worried, uh, about, uh, the future down in Midland. Uh, maybe some of those who still have a lot of debt, but, uh, Maybe a slowdown uh, welcomed a little bit, uh, at least by you and the uh, the city council, just so you guys can get caught up with everything. Well, that's correct. But, again, it's uh, oil and gas is our backbone, and uh, we'll be watching it very closely. Uh, we hope that things will turn around from an economic standpoint nation, or worldwide, and, and we'll see what happens there. All right. Well, best of luck to you down there, and uh, we appreciate you coming on today. Thank you so much. Have a good one. That's uh, Midland Mayor and uh, Midland Mayor, Jerry Morales uh, here on the Chad Hasty Show, News Talk 790 KFYO. Interesting thoughts. You know, uh, they got to get caught up down in Midland. And sounds like they're not too worried about it. But price of barrels, what, $63 right now? What happens when it hits 50 What happens when it hits 40 I, I don't know. I, I think you'll see uh, some more jitters out here. You're seeing a lot of stories now. Uh, about the falling oil prices. And right now, OPEC in a huge, huge war, and they're not giving up. OPEC will drive the price down as much as they can. Because they believe uh, that uh, American producers will just get out of it. They'll start shutting it down, and OPEC will benefit in the long run. Yeah, $63 for, for West Texas crude. And uh, I know that's a, what, a 4% drop just within the last uh, month or two, I believe is what I uh, read earlier today. So interesting numbers uh, out of uh, Midland and uh, what they're taking a look at. Still, hey, look, you want to get a job, you can still find a job in Midland, that's for sure. I read the other day that at, a, at Subway, they may not be doing it anymore, but for a while at Subway, they were paying not only twelve dollars an hour at Subway. I can't imagine how much. I bet they don't have the uh, the what is it? Five dollar foot long. It's probably like eight bucks. The eight dollar foot long down <laughs> down in Midland, but twelve dollars an hour plus a signing bonus if you were to agree to go and work for them that day. They'll give you a thousand bucks if you sign up to go to work, and that's at a Subway. That's amazing. 
So, yeah, there, there's still plenty of jobs available uh, down there. Of course, those who, uh, if, you know, if they do start laying off people, and we have had a couple of listeners who've said they have, some of those jobs might be picked up.